So yoga can be used as an emotional pain reliever. Um, so I just wanted to start with that. But I want to go backwards a little bit. So you can come to a yoga class if you're dealing with uh, emotional pain, heavier, whatever, and it's going to bring it down. And some people might say any moving, any breathing, and any exercising and in stretching might do the same thing. Yeah, and that's what's great about yoga. It's all combined in the same thing. But the thing we want to look for is some emotional pain is temporary, and then sometimes it hangs around for like way too long. Um, so the thing about yoga is at the end of the yoga class, you have brought the pain level down and the pain, the emotional pain being down gives you this moment of clarity where you can look at the roots of the uh, emotional pain, right? So as you look at the roots, then we can determine whether it's something that needs to be dealt with or something that's going to hang around because um, we get caught up in this Western idea about healing. And a lot of times you go into a Western medicine doctor and they're, we're treating like, like you have a rash and they're going to put an ointment on the rash. But it's not often that they ask you why you got the rash. A lot of times we're treating the symptoms um, and not the, the root cause. So uh, in, the, in yoga, I want us to also think about that. So it's great to use yoga as a, an emotional uh, painkiller and to bring it down so that we can have peace in the moment and clarity in the moment so we can take a look around and see how we got there um, and then do the uncovering of the work we might need to do for that. And you know, yoga as we know it here in the West is doing these yoga poses and yoga has all these other things to offer like meditation and stuff, which is the next step of what we might wanna look into to reduce the emotional pain if we feel like it's something that's been hanging around for too long. Uh, you got any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for listening.